Meanwhile, Indonesia's President Joko Widodo has instructed his cabinet and relevant agencies to further simplify regulations and make life easier for investors so that Indonesia can reach this year's target of attracting 1,400 trillion rupiah in investments. Indonesia's Minister of Investments, Bahlil Lahadalia, said he is confident that the target can be met, especially as the prospects of Indonesia's economic performance remains positive. Amid continuously high economic growth, the Indonesian Ministry of Investments claimed that the flow of investments into Indonesia reached and even exceeded last year's target of 1,200 trillion rupiah. Although official data on total investments in 2022 has yet to be released, so far data from the Investments Ministry shows that three months before the end of 2022, investments into Indonesia already reached 74% of the annual target reaching 892 trillion rupiah, which is 34% higher compared to the same period the previous year. For 2023, the government has set an even bigger investment target of 1,400 trillion rupiah. Indonesia's Minister of Investments, Bahlil Hadalia, said he is confident that this target can be met if Indonesia's economy remains stable and continues its trend of high growth. However, Minister Bahlil admitted that a number of issues still lingered. One of them is the issuing of business identification numbers for large-scale companies, which is often delayed. This problem frequently occurs when a company wants to invest in a region that still does not have a detailed spatial plan. OSS is for NIB to the bottom, to the middle, to the Yang kendalanya itu adalah yang kelas besar. Ini terkait dengan RDTR yang mana izin-izin lokasinya di daerah-daerah yang memang belum ada uh, RKPPR-nya. Ini yang kami akan lakukan dalam kurun waktu 3-4 bulan ini agar kemudian proses pengurusan uh, izin lokasinya bisa segera kita lakukan termasuk Amdal. Meanwhile, the Coordinating Minister of Economy, Erlangga Hartarto, stated that in order to reach the investments target of 1,400 trillion rupiah, the government needs to improve a number of investment regulations. These include improvements on the integrated business permits via the OSSRBA online single submission system, improvements on priority investment list, and also persistent issues regarding land permits. Perlu ada beberapa regulasi yang disempurnakan, yaitu tentunya penyempurnaan peraturan pemerintah, kemudian juga penyempurnaan OSS RBA dan daftar prioritas investasi. Di samping itu beberapa sektor yang tadi, yaitu perbaikan dari segi hambatan yang ada terkait dengan tata ruang atau kesesuaian kegiatan pemanfaatan ruang dan amdal ataupun persetujuan lingkungan di mana pemerintah akan uh, meningkatkan anggaran agar Kementerian uh, ATR maupun LHK bisa memfasilitasi secara lebih baik. Indonesia is still projected to see substantial economic growth in 2023. Despite a downgrade, the World Bank projects Indonesia's economy to see growth of 4.8% this year, as the World Bank still believes that private spending will remain robust in Indonesia, while business confidence is also expected to remain solid. As the government has stated, robust growth will be a key part to Indonesia's ability to attract investments.